What's up, everybody? Steven here for Off the Shelf Movie Night to talk to you about physical media, about Blu-rays and 4Ks, all the things that we love to, to buy and collect and the way we like to own our physical media. Um, I've got some pickups, as you maybe can tell if you know me well, because I get excited. I just get, like, my mind moves faster than, than my hands and, and what I want to say because I just want to get into this stuff and watch it. You know, I have my, my uh, two-week rule on purchases, if it, especially if it's a cold buy. And I've done some cold buys recently because the, the sales are just, they're just, have been too good. But I've got so much stuff that I'm getting a little backed up, you know, as much time as I have. And I did make a return to the theater um, over the weekend. And I've reviewed the movies that I saw. I saw three movies in theater this weekend. And if you're uh, interested in my thoughts on those, hit me up on Letterboxd. Uh, just look up Culture Smash on Letterboxd, and you'll see I've written some reviews there for you. I did uh, uh, Street Gang, and I did Mortal Kombat. There's one other that I have to write. Uh, Street Gang is a documentary about Sesame Street that showed at the art house theater in my city. So anyway, if you like physical media, on that note, and you collect like me, or you're interested in collecting, um, give me a like and a subscribe here, and uh, share this thing out, and let's talk about the, the our love of collecting physical media, because that's what this is all about. Anyway, pickups. Let's get into this. First thing is a Macari purchase. I did kind of already tear these because I noticed the box and this envelope were highly taped, so I didn't want to uh, spend too much time opening uh, having you watch me open envelopes, of all things. Um, this is a Macari purchase. Uh, was something I was watching for a while. He padded it nicely. Let's see what we got here. All right. And it is the entity from Shop Factory. And it is, uh, it said factory sealed. This is kind of weird packaging here. I don't know. It looks like it's in good shape, though. Let's crack into it. So, if you didn't know, uh, The Entity is a 1982 movie starring uh, Barbara Hershey and Ron Silver, and it is about a woman who is tormented and sexually molested, actually, by the way. Uh, so, just so you know going into it, um, by a invisible demon. I saw this movie on cable TV when I was young, and it like it freaked me out because there's a couple of scenes specifically related to how she is sexually molested that are special effects wise pretty impactful, uh, especially for the time. So Ron Silver is part of a team that comes in and uses that sort of poltergeist style of trying to investigate the demon and help her deal with it and that kind of thing. Uh, really, uh, for the era, pretty cool special effects. Barbara Hershey is a great actor. Ron Silver is fine. He's good. He did a lot of movies in that era. This does have the Shot Factory slipcover. I wasn't necessarily locked into the slipcover because, I'm, as I've mentioned before, I have mixed feelings about the quality of their slips. Uh, this one's in pretty good shape. Though. Let me show you the back so you can see the full write-up and the special features. There are some special features here, so I'm excited for that. So that's the slip, and then obviously on the inside we got the same art. Let's crack into this. Sorry if you hear that my tool sliding across the table there. Let's see what we got on the inside here. Uh, I was watching this for a while on Macari because I wanted it, but it wasn't something that I was in like a big rush to get, and I figured if I'm just going to buy the standard edition that doesn't have the slip, then I'll wait for a Shop Factory sale, because it's not something that they had listed as going out of print or anything. But then I got an offer direct from the seller that was pretty good, so I jumped on it. So we do get some disc art there, and there looks like we do have reversible art. We do. This is the original artwork, which... Um, I don't love this original artwork. I don't feel... I feel, for some reason, to me, and I don't know what it is, but this artwork feels more science fiction than actually the movie is. The movie is most definitely a horror film. So, I, I don't know. For now, I'll probably... Eh, you know, I have this little cover, so I guess I will flip it just so that I have both pieces of art. That's the one thing. Um probably would have just left their arm on the front had I not gotten the slip. Because, I, you know, I 
don't have like particularly any nostalgia for this original art, and I honestly don't think it fairly represents the movie in a way some of the old school artwork does. So, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and flip it. See, I don't know. Eh, it's meh, this artwork. Anyway, I, I'm looking forward to revisiting this film, because like I said, I haven't seen it since I saw it on an HBO or something when I was young, and I was really impacted by it. Uh, but I do like Barbara Hershey, so happy to have this added to the collection. I'll give you my feeling on it after I've had a chance to watch it, which still in my goal is within the next two weeks. I'm three episodes behind on... Falcon and the Winter Soldier, though, so I gotta get that done. All right, let's get into this. This actually is from Grindhouse Releasing, this box. This, this is my purchases from the uh, from the Easter sale, the Arrow Video Easter sale that was handled by Grindhouse domestically. I bought some things from Arrow UK and some things domestically. They had some of the same titles and some different ones in the UK that we don't have access to. So I bought those uh, from there too. So I participated in the sale across the board. This is the bigger box though. So it's padded up nice. Goes out of the way and there's my little stack there. So first up on these this arrow pickups, this is my first arrow that is in a blue case. Let me tell you something. I hate this. Uh, but I'm happy to have this add this movie to my collection. It's called The Witch Who Came From the Sea. I've had this film before. I think I had an old copy of it. An old, uh, I don't know, um, maybe an Elite Disc or something had put this out on DVD. I had that one a long time ago. So basically the story is of a woman. It's a 1976 film. The story of a woman who's haunted by uh, her you know, some childhood abuse without getting too spoilery. She's haunted by it to such a degree that it culminates in pretty epic murder spree. I mean, that's really enough to tell you what this movie is all about. So this has got to be an older release from Arrow. I didn't know. It just one that I liked the movie and didn't have it in my collection, so there you go. I'll show you the back where you can see their full description and the bonus features. This is a very sort of surrealist kind of, uh, you know, artsy type of approach to, to this story. It's more wannabe artsy than it actually is, but it's a good movie. Highly recommended. Now we're talking about Killer Nun. This is a 1978 nunsploitation film. Probably the most, I mean, the box, uh, I believe the box actually says most notorious of the, of the, the subgenre, uh, but you can't trust that necessarily because they all always say that. This is a more recent release from Arrow Video. Uh, it basically tells the story of uh, Sister Gertrude. She is a disturbed, like a mentally disturbed uh, nun who who finds her way into uh, drug use and then from there to sexual uh, adventures and then into torture and murder. It's really just sort of a character study of this character and her, her de-evolution. Um, hear my cat in the background story of my life. I'll just let, let you enjoy him. So that's the front. There's the back. All right, let's look inside. All right, so we get a pretty nice little booklet. I actually wasn't aware that this was in here. There's, a, of course, a promo for Black Rainbow. Let's see. So this is not like to the level of their perfect bound books, but this is more than I anticipated. It does have see if I can find some. This has uh, poster art, some stills, and we've got some essays in here, I guess. I need to uh, research this. I wasn't anticipating the booklet. So, there's a little picture of the inside for you. Disc art is the same as the box art, and of course with Arrow, you know, we're getting reversible art. This is the original art. There you go. The original title. This art, I think, was on a previous release. I think this was used for... Uh, my cat. You guys, I'm sorry if you hear that in the background. Um, this art, I think, was used in a Mondo Macabro release, maybe? An earlier uh, DVD release of this film? Anyway, if you're into sort of the subgen horror subgenres like nunsploitation, if you're into nunsploitation or you're just curious about what the big deal is or whatever, 
I'm flipping this, by the way. Uh, this is the movie to, to, to jump into that subgenre. Next up, we've got Dark Water. I've kind of been wanting to add this to my collection for a while. Again, another movie I had from uh, Tartan Palisades on, on DVD. What a great company Tartan Palisades was. Miss them. So, Dark Water is a Hideo Nakata movie. You may recognize that name because he also directed Ringu. Um, this was done in 2002. Remade in 2005. I believe he actually directed it too. Correct me if I'm wrong. The uh, American remake that uh, had Jennifer Connelly in it. So, Dark Water is a story of a young woman and her six-year-old daughter who move into an apartment uh, that begins to be uh, permeated by water. Every surface, everything just coated in, in dark water. It's a spooky ghost movie. I don't want to spoil too much. I, I recommend it if you're into early 2000s sort of J-horror, um, the demon ghost sort of thing that they were doing in that time period. This is one of the better ones, along with Ringu. Um, highly recommended. Had this, like I said, had this on DVD, so this was an upgrade for me. Uh, I'm trying to give you, there you go, so you can get a look. And on the inside, we have a multi-disc set. This is an older set, so we do have a DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, original artwork there on the discs on the film. Okay. And we do have reversible art. There's the original artwork. Uh, in this uh, particular uh, situation, I'm going to flip this too. I like having the original title there. So, this movie is very, like Ringu, it's very atmospheric, kind of like stylized. It's not a super complex story. It's well acted and fun, you know, kind of creepy ghost boo movie. Oh, there goes the cat again, you guys. You guys get the show. Uh, that would be Oliver the Asshole. Now for our last film in this uh, in this pickup is Chud. Been wanting to add this one for a while. Was waiting for it to go really cheap. Chud is an interesting movie. This literally could be a Vinegar Syndrome release. It would feel really good released by them because it, this is sort of it's cultish, you know, cult classic film, but it's also kind of cheesy, bad drive-in style movie from I think 1984. Basically, it tells a story of, uh, it starts out as an investigation into people disappearing uh, on the streets of New York City. Turns out, there is something uh, lurking in the sewers of the city that's killing them. Does anybody know what CHUD stands for? I do. It stands for Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dweller. That is CHUD. So, let me just get this plastic off here. This is a campy fun little movie. And, you know, this is kind of the, of the era of uh, giant alligators under the, in the sewers and all that stuff. So again, there's the front. There's the back. So you can get that read up. Look at all those special features. Got another old blue, uh, blue case here. We've got a little bit of artwork on the inside on the DVD and the Blu-ray. And then we do have reversible artwork. Am I going to flip it? Again, okay, so it's maybe it's just the font here. I mean, this kind of better represents the film than the entity did. I mean, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to, I'm going to flip this. Let's go with the old school artwork. So that's my pickups, you guys. I think I, I've, as I've sat here opening these boxes, I think I've made a decision in my mind that I'm probably going to order some clear Blu-ray cases and replace these blue cases. I just don't like these blue cases. I, I don't like them in regular releases, not just Amazon, or Amazon, uh, Arrow. I, I just don't prefer these blue cases. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. So it should, there you go. So here are all my pickups, my Shout Factory, uh, Random Shout Factory, and then my Arrow pickups. So uh, tell me what you've been buying lately. What have you been watching? Let's talk about it in the comments. Until next we meet. Pull something cool off the shelf, share it with your friends and family, and remind them why. Physical media is the best way to watch films and TV. Keep buying, you guys. Stay confident. We've got a lot of cool releases coming this year. 2020 was an amazing year for catalog titles for physical media, and I think uh, this year is going to be great, too, along with a lot of cool new releases. I'll see you guys on the next one.